We're now going to go look for eggs in the chicken coop. And then over here is the chicken barn. How many chickens do you have? We only have 21. We bought 35, so we'd have two and a half dozen eggs. And being free range, now we have 21. But some fox has a full belly somewhere, so. Yeah. So in here, these are the chickens. Hi, guys. And they're, oh, I should fill this up a little bit. Close the door. Lots of times we find other birds in here because they fly in, I don't know how, through that little hole and get stuck in there. This is our fancy scoop. Tell me a little bit about the kinds of chickens these are. Well, these are brown sex link and there's one black one somewhere. Sorry, what kind are they? <laughs> They're brown sex link. Sex link. Yeah. Okay. And uh, next year I'll get a whole bunch more layers and we'll get all different colors. I thought I had asked for different colors, but they came all brown. But the new ones we get, I want different colors because I know that these are a year older. So when my egg production goes down, I know who to eat first. And this is their heat lamps. Do Does each one have its own little uh, nook? And so you know that uh, this guy goes in uh, this box? No. Okay, so you, you really... They just go wherever they want. and. And they'll sometimes they'll find like eight eggs under one. So there's one hen that just keeps hopping off so somebody can lay in there. They're really smart. When it gets cold, they always lay in the same spot and they take shifts, I guess, sitting on it. Yeah, and so this is our, if you can see, this is the automatic water. I've got to fill this one up and I'll fill the other one. So there'll be two. And then, hi. Oh, thank you. There's one egg. How about you, sweetie? Oh, nothing. One thing I'm going to do, I'm going to keep this here. That's the fruits of the labor today. Fruit, yep. Yeah. Well, actually, I already You'll came out and took eight because they oh, were going to freeze. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But that, that was the one that was all under the one girl. Yeah. And they just, uh, they don't like to go out on white. I don't know why. So every day I have to come back here and grab a bunch of hay and sprinkle it outside, and then I shoo them out. So I come into this back barn, which we use for storage, and I just grab a whole bunch of little bits of hay. In the spring when we get our turkeys and ducks, they, they're in here until they get bigger because we get them as day olds. And then we've got other barns for them outside once they don't need heat lamps. So this is what I do, very high tech. Sprinkle, especially around the opening. But lots of, and then they'll come out, and there's also lots of seeds in here that they can eat. <laughs> so that's that. Uh, now I'm gonna, we'll go back in the barn, and I'll try and chase them out. Hopefully. <laughs> out you go. Come on. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Come on. Out you go. Come on, out you go. Out you go. That's a girl. Come on. Out you go. Good. Once one goes out, they usually all go out. Come on. Out you go. Unless you're laying, go play outside. Come on. Go. Shoo, shoo. Good girl. Okay, come on, guys. Go outside. I guess they don't want to come out. I was just going to say, in the summer, everyone thinks free range is so wonderful, and it is, and I, if, if you can, I believe in having chickens run, but in the summer, I have to come and climb up on all those bales, because there's about half the chickens that lay eggs on those bales, and then the big hay barn I showed you outside, they lay in there as well, so I have to climb up. So it's kind of like an Easter egg hunt. Yeah, but it's, it's not fun, because like in there, when you have three big bales together, not the small ones, but the big ones, they're four feet high. When you have four on top of each other, I have to somehow get up to 16 feet. So it, it's an Easter egg hunt, but I, I'm not 20. So I'm not that acrobatic. 